Hi everyone, welcome back to Pizmedia. In this video, we will counting down our picks for the top 10 best chef restaurant movies. But before we get started, don't forget to subscribe, like, and comment. Number 10, No Reservations. No Reservations is a 2007 romantic comedy drama film directed by Scott Hicks. The movie stars Catherine Zeta-Jones, Aaron Eckhart, and Abigail Breslin. The screenplay, adapted by Carol Fuchs, is based on an original script by Sandra Nettlebeck, which served as the foundation for the 2001 German film Mostly Martha. The story revolves around Kate Armstrong, played by Catherine Zeta-Jones, a talented and hard-edged chef whose life takes an unexpected turn when she decides to care for her young niece, Zoe, following a tragic accident that claimed her sister's life. Patricia Clarkson, Bob Balaban, and Jenny Wade also co-star, with Nick Palmer, Aaron Eckhart joining the kitchen staff and bringing his uplifting personality to the chaotic environment. The film received mixed reviews from critics, but grossed over $92 million worldwide. Number 9. Waiting. Directed by Rob McKittrick, the film revolves around the life of the first day of an employee who witnesses firsthand the various things the waiters, cooks, and others do at a restaurant to pass the time. It focuses on several characters, including Monty, the alpha male and head troublemaker, and Dean, who's at a crossroads in his life. Amy, Dean's girlfriend, always seems to be stuck serving the worst of the already generally bad cussed customers that frequent the restaurant. Insecure Calvin, working a double shift, has recently developed a case of shy bladder syndrome, and Naomi is seemingly angry at everyone and everything. Trainee Mitch is overwhelmed by the shenanigans, especially the penis-showing game. The film starring Ryan Reynolds as Monty, Justin Long as Dean, John Francis Daly as Mitch, Anna Faris as Serena, Caitlin Doubleday as Amy, Alana Ubach as Naomi, and other. Number 8. Julie and Julia. Julie and Julia is a delightful American comedy drama film released in 2009. It was both written and directed by Nora Ephron. The movie intertwines the lives of two remarkable women from different generations. Julia Child, portrayed by Meryl Streep. A renowned chef and author, Julia Child's early culinary career is depicted. Her passion for French cuisine and her groundbreaking cookbook, Mastering the Art of French Cooking, are central to the story. Julie Powell, played by Amy Adams. An aspiring writer, Julie embarks on a year-long culinary adventure. She sets out to cook every recipe from Julia Child's cookbook and chronicles her experiences in a blog, which ultimately leads her to become a published author. Number seven, Soul Food. Soul Food is a warmly atmospheric ensemble drama set around the abundant table of Chicago family matriarch, Mother Jo. Her extended brood orbits around the stabilizing force of her sumptuous Sunday dinners. However, when dissent brews between the competitive sisters Maxine and Terry, Mother Joe's grandson, and narrator, Ahmad, tries to reunite the family. This moving film, written and directed by George Tillman Jr., features excellent performances from Vanessa L. Williams, Vivica A. Fox, Naya Long, Irma P. Hall, and the rest of the talented cast. The film beautifully captures family relationships, love, and the importance of coming together over food. Number six, like water for chocolate. Set in Mexico in 1910, the story revolves around Tita, Lumi Cavazos, and her forbidden love for Pedro, Marco Leonardi. Tradition dictates that Tita must remain single to care for her aging mother, Mama Elena, Regina Tournay. Despite her love for Pedro, Tita accepts her fate. Pedro marries Tita's older sister, Rosaura, Yareli Arismendi, but he secretly married Rosaura to be closer to Tita. As Tita prepares dishes, she discovers a magical ability. Each dish becomes a love song for Pedro. The film explores love, tradition, and the power of food in a captivating and emotional tale. The cast includes Lumi Cavazos, Marco Leonardi, Yareli Arismendi, and Regina Tournay. Like Water for Chocolate is a Mexican romantic drama film based on the novel of the same name by Laura Esquivel, blending magical realism with passionate romance. Number five, chocolate. Vianne Rocher, played by Juliette Binoche, arrives in the fictional French village of lansquenet sous tans with her young daughter, Anouk. The village is conservative and bound by tradition. Vianne, an enthusiastic chocolatier, opens a chocolate shop, which upsets the local mayor, Comte de Renault. Despite facing resistance, Vianne's colorful attire and friendly demeanor gradually win over the villagers. She even connects with Armand, an eccentric elderly woman who owns a boarding house. 
As Vian's chocolate shop becomes a gathering place, it challenges the town's norms and traditions, leading to unexpected connections and transformations. Chocla is a 2000 romance film directed by Lasse Hallström and based on the 1999 novel of the same name by Joanne Harris. The film features an ensemble cast including Judy Dench, Alfred Molina, Lena Olin, and Johnny Depp, number four. Chef. The movie directed by Jon Favreau and starring by Jon Favreau as Carl Casper, Robert Downey Jr. as Marvin, Scarlett Johansson as Molly, Sofia Vergara as Inez, John Leguizamo as Martin and other. The film follows Carl Casper, a professional chef who leaves his job at a prestigious Los Angeles restaurant. He returns to Miami to start a food truck business, reconnects with his ex-wife and invites his son to join him on a cross-country journey selling Cubanos. Chef is a delightful comedy drama that celebrates food, family, and second chances. Number three, The Hundred Foot Journey. Directed by Lasse Hallström, it revolves around the Kadam family, led by Papa Kadam, played by Om Puri, settles in a small town in southern France. They open a traditional family-run Indian restaurant directly across the road from Madame Mallory's Michelin-starred eatery. The talented cook, Hassan Kadam, played by Manish Dale, has a life filled with both culinary delights and profound loss. Drifting through Europe after fleeing political violence in India, the Kadams arrive in France. A chance auto accident and the kindness of a young woman named Marguerite, played by Charlotte Le Bon, inspire Papa Kadam to set up an Indian restaurant in the village. Unfortunately, this puts them in direct competition with the snobbish Madame Mallory, played by Dame Helen Mirren, and her acclaimed haute cuisine establishment. The rivalry escalates until it goes too far, leading to unexpected twists that change both sides forever. Number two, Big Night. Big Night is a film set in a late 1950s beach town. It revolves around two Italian immigrant brothers, Primo, played by Stanley Tucci, and Secondo, played by Tony Shalhoub, who run an Italian restaurant. Unfortunately, their business is struggling due to competition from a rival Italian restaurant. In a last-ditch effort to save their establishment, the brothers plan an evening of incredible food. The pivotal moment comes when jazz great Louis Prima visits their restaurant, and they must work together to ensure the success of their family business. The film was co-directed by Stanley Tucci and Campbell Scott, and it beautifully captures themes of family, food, and cultural identity. Number one, Jiro Dreams of Sushi. Jiro Dreams of Sushi is a documentary film directed by David Gelb. It revolves around 85-year-old sushi master Jiro Ono, his renowned Tokyo restaurant, Sukiyabashi Jiro, and his relationship with his son and eventual heir, Yoshikazu. In the basement of a Tokyo office building, Jiro Ono works tirelessly to create the perfect piece of sushi. His philosophies include simplicity, immediate consumption of sushi after preparation, and the importance of all food components. The film provides an intimate look at the world of sushi craftsmanship and the pursuit of excellence. The cast includes Jiro Ono, Yoshikazu Ono, and Takashi Ono.